In this tutorial video, I will show you how to install Java in a Windows 10 machine. If you're using Windows 7 or 8, I would recommend that you upgrade. If you're using a Macintosh, I am also working on developing a video for that. So first, I want to make sure that my machine doesn't have Java installed already. So I'm going to travel to the lower left corner and click on my Start menu. And I'm going to type CMD, the command prompt, press enter, and I get the command prompt here. I guess you could also use PowerShell, uh, but I don't know, I haven't tried it with that. Uh, it takes me right away to my user directory, and that is in the C drive inside the users directory, and mine is called Paco D. It's actually longer than that, but Windows 10 just cuts it to five characters. If I get a directory listing, the IR shows me what's in there. I've got some personal folders, some work folders, and uh, here is where I may be dumping in a, another folder to put in my Java projects. Before I do that though, I want to make sure that this machine doesn't have Java installed, and I uninstalled it recently, so I'm hoping that if I type Java, then it tells me that that command is not recognized. If I type Java C, I expect to see the same error. Uh, I do have some notes in the assignment to install Java and uh, basically to go into your C drive and the users folder, find your name, type what I just typed. Uh, and actually, if you have Java version, that's Java uh, dash version, Java hyphen version anyway, you could copy that and it'll at least attempt to. Uh, to see if it, it's installed. If it finds something, it'll tell you what version is actually installed. So let me go back to my presentation here in the browser. Just want to move some things. I have a very small screen to work with right now. I do have a link to Oracle. Uh, I will follow this link. And this is basically, you could also Google uh, Oracle, download Java, and you'll probably get whatever the latest version of Java is. Currently it's Java 17. If you scroll below or if you find or click the right tab, you will eventually find what you're looking for. I'm running a Windows 10 machine, as I said, so it's giving me Linux first, followed by Mac OS. Windows is the third option. I'll click on that. I know that I have a 64-bit machine, so I'm looking for the X64 installer. This one right here, it's 152 megabytes and uh, I have a hashtag at the end there. I'm going to ignore that and just click on the link to download the uh, binary file. Click on that. It says, well, where do you want to put it? I'll put it in my downloads folder. That's fine. Save. I will follow this download. Click on the carrot. I'm running uh, Chrome currently. I'll show in the folder. It shows me the folder, and sure enough, here is my JDK. That's the Java Development Kit. For it's version 17 for Windows 64-bit. I will double click on that to get the installation going. It's asking me if I want to let it make changes to the device. I'll say yes. It will then tell me what it's doing. The wizard will guide you. I'll click on next. It tells me that it's going to put it in my drive inside a, the program files folder. It will make another directory called Java and then one called JDK plus the version number 17.0.1 is where we are currently. Click on next for that. It will continue to uh, install. I can uh, relax for a little bit uh, not too long because it's done. And uh, now it, it will show me some extra steps if I want to. Uh, Oracle owns Java. They will, this next steps will take you to their website. You can see all the documentation. Lots of good stuff here if you want to keep that. I can close this file. I'll just keep this open for kicks for now. And uh, let's see what's going on with my installer. The installer is right here. I can close it. It'll go away. I'm going to go back to my uh, command prompt and I will attempt to see if Java is there. I'll start with that Java version that I used previously, Java hyphen version. It tells me that it's not recognized. I will type Java again. It doesn't like it either. Uh, a couple of things might have happened. One, the uh, 
program or rather Java was installed, but uh, the system needs to be rebooted or at least the command prompt restarted. So I'll start with the easiest solution. I'll close the command prompt and reopen it. I'll go back to my Windows icon, bottom left, start. Type CMD for command prompt. Click on it. We're going to get an available place right here and uh, type Java. And it gives me uh, this contextual menu of things. Basically it says, hey, if you want to use Java, you can use all these commands, which is it's great. We'll use a couple of those in class. I'll type in Java C. I get the, a similar menu, probably the same one. And then remember that other one, the first one, which was uh, Java and then uh, hyphen version or dash version, or I think it's a hyphen. It tells me that I'm running Java version 17.0.1, uh, 1021, 10.19 and uh, a little bit more information. While you're at it here, make sure to get a screen capture of this particular screen. I will want this for your grade. I'm going to press and hold the Windows key plus the Shift key plus the S key as in screen. I get this uh, crosshair cursor. I will click and drag and I'm going to copy at least part of the Java script up there. And by that, I mean the script of Java instructions on top, the uh, C colon slash user slash my user directory and the version of Java. I will let go and it gives me a, a snip that was saved to the clipboard. Uh, you can't see the window, it's on the side, but I'll show you what actually I'm seeing. It's this right here. I'm going to uh, save this file by clicking on the uh, save button here, the floppy disk, save as. I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'll just call this uh, my Java. And it's a JPEG. I'll save that, close it, and just keep it there for later. Okay, so I assume now that Java is installed and that it's working correctly because if I keep on typing the Java, Command this keeps on going. For the uh, assignment that, that this video is attached to, make sure that you find and upload the, uh, the screen capture that you just saved. And I'll see you in the next video.